the closer we get to the launch of the Xbox Series X and Series S, more and more information comes out about the hardware. More and more developers are speaking about the hardware. And a few days ago, in fact, last week, we got a, a couple articles about some of the hardware coming out on the Series X and Series S. How does it compare to the PlayStation 5? What do different developers think about it? And it looks like developers are starting to say the consensus is starting to be that at least at launch, it looks like the Series X and Series S has a distinct hardware advantage. Let's take a look at this. Let's discuss it. Let's see what's being said. But before we do, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. We're the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. We're dropping videos every single day. We've got a podcast, the best Xbox podcast in the world. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and join us live every Friday where we record it here on this channel live right here. Okay, so WCCF Tech recently interviewed David Cage, the CEO and founder of Quantic Dream. Now, we talked about him before. He talked a little bit about uh, his views on the PlayStation 5 and how he dis disagreed with Microsoft's decision to make different consoles, right? But now he's talking about the hardware, right? Uh, and he highlighted the Xbox Series X shader cores as more suitable for machine learning tasks, which could allow the console to perform performance enhancing image reconstruction technique, thus giving the Xbox better graphics in the long term. Here's what he said. He said, quote, it is always challenging to compare hardware as they always have advantages and disadvantages. It is not just a matter of CPU or frequency. It is more about the consistency of the components and the possibilities of advanced features. The CPU of the two consoles uses the same processor. Slightly faster on the Xbox Series X, he said, the GPU of the Xbox also seems more powerful as it is 16% faster than the PS5 GPU with a bandwidth that is 25% faster. The transfer speed from the SSD is twice as fast on PS5. The shader cores of the Xbox, he continues, are also more suitable to machine learning, which could be an advantage if Microsoft succeeds in implementing an equivalent to Nvidia's DLSS, which is an advanced neural network solution for AI. He finalizes his statement and he says, overall, I think that the pure analysis of the hardware shows an advantage for Microsoft. He says, but experience tells us that hardware is only part of the equation. Sony showed in the past that their consoles could deliver the best looking games because their architecture and software were usually very consistent and efficient. This is an interesting statement, especially coming from David Cage. David Cage is the CEO and founder of Quantic Dream. They make games like Heavy Rain, Detroit Become Human. They make primarily PlayStation games up to this point. They've moved over and they're now making more PC games, which is probably why he's talking a little bit about this architecture, right? This is great news for Microsoft. Now, if this wasn't enough, last week we also got a couple articles uh, that Microsoft themselves dropped discussing AMD's RDNA 2 technology and their architecture, which the Xbox Series X and Series S utilize. So does the PlayStation 5. However, the Xbox Series X and S are the only next generation consoles with full hardware support for the RDNA 2 capabilities that AMD showcased. And they showcased th those capabilities about a week ago. Uh, if you remember David Cage and the, the statement that he just made, he said that if Microsoft succeeds in implementing the equivalent of NVIDIA's DLSS, which is their network solution for AI technology, that they would take off, that they would definitely have a distinct advantage. Uh, the RDNA 2 technology architecture is that AMD talked a little bit about that, about how they're creating a competitor to the NVIDIA's DLSS technology, right? Here's what Microsoft said about it last week. They said, quote, the Xbox Series X and S are the only next generation consoles with full hardware support for all the RDNA 2 capabilities that AMD showcased today. At the very beginning of development of the Xbox Series X and S, we knew we were setting the foundation for the next decade of gaming innovation and performance across console, PC, and cloud. To deliver on this vision, we wanted to leverage the full capabilities of RDNA 2 in hardware from day one. Through close collaboration and partnership between Xbox and AMD, not only have we delivered on this promise, we have gone even further introducing additional next generation innovation such as hardware accelerated machine learning capabilities for better NPC intelligence, more lifelike animation, and improved visual quality via techniques 
techniques, sorry, such as ML powered super resolution. Now this is a lot of jargon, technical jargon, right? Needless to say, they're supporting the RDNA 2 tech technology, right? The RDNA 2 architecture from AMD. AMD has been making some moves. Uh, AMD, when they announced their GPUs last week, made, you know, shook the gaming industry because of everything that it implies for gaming and the future of gaming. It's all very exciting. Just know that the Xbox Series X and Series S fully support from day one. They're the only next generation console that does the RDNA 2 technology uh, and hardware capabilities in their system. It's going to be interesting. I don't think we're going to see the full effect of what this means for a year, two years out. But again, Microsoft proving that they're all in on the hardware side of Xbox, right? That they're all in on Xbox itself as a brand, as an entertainment aspect via Game Pass. Even with pricing, Phil Spencer came out uh, again in another another interview about two days ago talking about their strategy that with $70 games on the horizon, they went with the Series X and Series S to price people into their console, right? To give people price points to bring them into their console, into Game Pass. You can see the aggressiveness there. This is not the Xbox One generation where Microsoft fumbled and bumbled from the beginning, where they didn't seem to have a direction. Microsoft has a direction. They want to be the best place for players to play games. You can see the aggressiveness there with pricing, coming out with different consoles. They're leading the way with Game Pass, right? With xCloud and streaming, with having multiple consoles to jump in. If you're a family, uh, you have kids, you want to get in on it. And now with even David Cage, the CEO and founder of Quantic Dream, saying that he believes that the Xbox Series S and Series X has the hardware advantage at launch. The aggression, the, they're all in. Microsoft is all in. This is gonna be a very exciting time for Xbox fans, for Microsoft fans, for fans of gaming in general. I think the next five years in gaming is gonna look completely different than the last five years of gaming. And it's very exciting if this is your hobby, if you're a fan, if you're an Xbox fan especially, I think they've hit the ground running and I think they're absolutely crushing it. I want to know what you think. I'm not a technical guy, so I have to, when I when I read articles like this, I have to go look it all up and see what it means, but it does indeed look like Microsoft and Xbox has the hardware advantage that David Cage is speaking about, and it's very, very exciting as someone who does love all things Xbox. Let me know in the comments below. Again, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. We're the X1 Bros. This is your positive gaming and Xbox community. Until next time, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you later.